welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, today I'm gonna show you what I bought for our family of 11. We are 11 people. And this is for one a month. I like to do most of my shopping at the beginning of the month. I do have to go back in the middle just for fruits and vegetables that are fresh and some milk usually. But other than that, I pick it all up at the beginning of the month. I plan my meals for the whole month. And if you're interested in how I do that, I'll leave a video about that in the description box below. I will also show you the totals of everything I bought at the end of this haul. I get a whole bunch of different stores. Usually I do four stores, but I'm adding in one or two today. We'll see if I have time for it. My grocery hauls and my grocery budget also includes our household products. It includes diapers, it includes like cleaning products and toothpaste, shampoo, all that kind of stuff too. So normally our grocery budget is $1,200. I know this time I'm going over and I think we are going to be increasing our budget to 13, but I think this time it's gonna be a little bit on the high side. Last month I was under, so there's a little ebb and flow there, depending on what I'm out of and what I need. All right guys, we're starting with Sam's Club. And today we did use their pickup service to get what we needed. And I made one huge mistake today, which I'll show you in a second. It will work out, but it was a big one. So I got this big old hot chocolate. Uh, we use that once a week for snacks. I know some people think, well, how could that be enough for snacks? But a good, nice cup of hot chocolate in the afternoon really helps kids be able to wait for dinner in my house. And then here's our cheese for the month. We just cut that, slice that off for sandwiches, put on tortillas, that kind of thing, at lunches. This is our butter for the month. And then I picked up these brats. I got two packages of them, of them just because we're a big family. But we're gonna do those for dinner one night and maybe it will last two dinners, that would be good. My mother-in-law actually requested that. It's her birthday in November. She's here for, if, as you may know, for six months and since it's her birthday, I asked her, what do you like? And she remembers having sausage with cheese in the middle the last time she was here. So I picked these up for her. We're gonna throw them on the grill, and yeah, that's what she requested. We got a couple maple syrups. We use these especially to sweeten our oatmeal these days. And this heavy cream we use in oatmeal. A couple recipes. I'm making butter chicken tonight, and we're having company, so I'm making a whole lot of it. But yeah, we've been going through the heavy whipping cream, which is okay with me. It's pretty good stuff. Oh, and I think Solo's been using it in his coffee too. Uh, he's doing more keto, uh, and I'm eating Trim Healthy Mama, so I eat some carbs too, um, because I'm nursing. We got some of this Mexican cheese blend. I like to keep this in the freezer, just use it as I need it for whatever I'm cooking, or taco night, or whatever. It's nice to have plenty in there. Three milks, because at Aldi I can only get six at a time, so that, is just the extra that I need. Got a couple bags of this romaine lettuce and two bags of Brussels sprouts. We really like to eat Brussels sprouts on the nights we eat fish. I have some salmon in my freezer, so that's when we'll eat that this month. I got three packs, of, there are two packs, so six really of these uh, ground turkey because we're doing three dinners that call for ground turkey and we now double everything, so we need a lot of that. These yogurts we use for snack once a week and I have some left in the fridge. These are some yogurts that Solo uses here and there. I got four of these things of beef. It looks like Sam's Club made them a little bigger. Um, so we may be able to do half. Last month we tried doing half and sometimes it worked and I had to actually get some halfway through the month, some extra. So we'll probably divide all these in half and put them in the freezer in two packs so we have eight and see if we can get use some of it, make some of it last through December too. Uh, otherwise, if we have a lot of company and stuff, we end up using a whole thing. And last month we ended up having a whole lot of company. So we do, we do this about once a week beef and usually it's in our Kenyan meals. So the cooks around here, once a week, that's the goal. I got 10 bunches of bananas. I'm really loving Sam's Club's bananas. They are the best lasting. If these bananas start getting really, really brown, it is no problem for me. I love to put them in the freezer. Some of my kids eat them straight out of the freezer, otherwise we use them in smoothies and banana bread, that kind of thing. Two things of sour cream, we ran low on it last month. Cottage cheese, we got two of those. I've never had trouble with it going bad or uh, in less than a month, so. It does say best if used by 11.22, so that is before the end of the month, but like I said, never had that problem. And it will probably have it gone before then anyway. Two packages of string cheese, it's just nice to have these available for kiddos that are extra hungry. My little ones love string cheese. We got two bags of 
frozen berries. We use these in smoothies and then we also use frozen fruit for a snack once a week. And as you can see, I got two big bags of the mixed fruit too. Gosh, these things are expensive, but it does help to have these around, I tell you, in the freezer. I can't remember what it is, but I think these are about $10 each for these. But it's also fruit that doesn't go bad, so that's a bonus. We got one bag of tilapia. We just had a fish last night too, so I think we're just doing one night of fish this month of this tilapia fish anyway. I like the big Sam's Club picante. We use it to cook with, and then just we have it available. You'll see I also got a huge box of chips, so sometimes we need it for unexpected company or something. Here's our applesauce for the month. There's six big things of it. We got one bag of chicken breasts. I have half a bag left. But I got a little more of the chicken thighs this time. Three bags of that. We've really been liking some of our meals with chicken thighs. Solo's eating keto, like I said, so that good full fat chicken <laughs> is good in those meals. Like um, butter chicken, peanut butter chicken, which I'm going to show you guys one of these days. Uh, there's several meals that I make that are really good with chicken thighs compared to chicken breasts. We got two bags of raisins. These will not last through the month. When they're out, they're out. Big thing of ketchup. Oh, I forgot again. I'm supposed to be trying out the Aldi ketchup. Some of you say yes. Some of you say no way on the Aldi ketchup. Got some coconut oil. This is a new one. I, I've gotten members mark before, but it looks like repackaged. So we'll see how that goes. Two bags of these bacon bits. We really love the bacon bits here. Put them in eggs, we put them in our kale. Two packages of honey, which is four bottles. We use this mostly for, well the kids use it on toast and stuff, but we're using it mostly to sweeten our granola. So we bake the granola with it. Got a bag of snap peas. We love those things and baby carrots just for easy at lunch. I got some mushrooms that I'm gonna put in eggs and kale and maybe butter chicken. Oh, actually there's another chicken thing I'm gonna make later this month, so I'll be getting more of those too in the middle of the month. Got a bag of avocados, for especially for the baby. I'm hoping to give her some of that since she's starting to eat food. And these big white mushrooms we're using to make a dinner that is appetizers, because I wanna show you some of our favorite appetizers that we do at Thanksgiving time. Then we got one thing of tomatoes. I have a lot left still from my middle of the month shopping trip. And then these two huge things of pretzels. That'll be a snack for us once a week. Boy, we spent so much at Sam's Club. Maybe that's why they gave us this cute little bag. I haven't even looked in here, but looks like we got, I don't know, some advertisement chocolate chip muffins. So they gave us a little sample bag, which, yeah, this is not gonna go far in our house. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Coffee energy drink. Hmm, that's interesting. And, oh, what's that? Oh, a Glade plug-in. Do they know my house smells all the time? <laughs> I don't know what goes in that, though. I'm not really familiar with such things. I guess they want me to buy the Glade because um, it looks like there's definitely a hole there. <laughs> well, they should have given me one to try maybe. Anyway, that's nice of them though. It's nice to ha get some free samples and we'll use that little bag. Okay guys, here's my mistake. I ordered, I thought I ordered two of these packs of chicken drumsticks. Uh-uh, I ordered two boxes apparently <laughs> so i have i have 12 packs don't worry i'm not crying so i was like should i take it back no it's not even worth it we have plenty of room in our freezer right now i paid a dollar oh nine per pound not bad and i will just put them in the freezer we're gonna grill up a bunch is good it's a good lunch to have available especially for those of us trying to eat on plan and so we can keep some grilled ones in the free in the fridge for the week and then we'll just have some meals of drumsticks i use two of those packs for one meal so it's really i could make it six times <laughs> and there's a trim healthy mama recipe in the trim healthy cookbook called bangin ranch drumsticks or something like that they're really good and that's why i had bought them this month um, but there's a couple other recipes they have for drumsticks so i may try those out too it was an expensive mistake and it will make my budget, or it will make me blow my budget for sure, but it's not something that we can't use. It will go, it will not go bad 
and we will make good use of those drumsticks. The kids were really excited about it anyway, so uh, there's that, I guess. Okay, here's my um, non-food items mostly. I got a pack of diapers. I need a size five, size three. I got a box of wipes. I ran out of, out of all of it at the same time. Here's my big box of tortilla chips. Two things of massive things of toilet paper, which is good not to run out of that. A big old thing of paper plates. We use those here and there, uh, here a lot. <laughs> we use those for lunches sometimes. And then I needed a box of pull-ups and then there's my Diet Coke. So that's what we have from Sam's Club today. Next I have Walmart to show you. This one we also use the pickup service for and as far as I know, there, nothing went wrong. So <laughs> that's awesome. I was out of a lot of our personal stuff. So we got a couple big things of soap. I'm just um, restocking my like uh, hall closet, you know, where you keep all this kind of stuff. So I got a couple things of shampoo, a couple things of conditioner, a number of things of toothpaste. The bigger kids and adults use that. And I even got some suckers, we call them. Dummies, pacifiers, depends on what you call them. Those are for destiny. And I was kind of out of all of that stuff at once. I wasn't out of so many. Last month I was out of a lot of um, dishwasher soap and laundry detergent, that kind of thing. So there is some ebb and flow like that when... I don't need all that stuff. I'm gonna stock up on these items. We got six whole wheat penne noodles and we use about a box and a half of those a week for lunch. And then I got some of these whole wheat noodles for spaghetti and a big bag of meatballs. This is just gonna be an easy Sunday dinner for us. I'm gonna throw the meatballs, a couple jars of this pizza sauce. I like this Walmart pizza sauce because it's real low in sugar. And I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot on a Sunday morning so we have an easy dinner right after church. Got some sugar-free ketchup. I'm gonna try a meatloaf this month and I need that for that. Water chestnuts too. I got two cans of that because this is a part of the appetizers we're making to show you. Got some nutmeg. We use nutmeg a lot in our granola that we make. And then just to stock up the pantry, there's some more soy sauce and sesame oil. I feel like I get a soy sauce every month. Here's a bunch of spinach. I don't see them selling last several months collard greens frozen anymore. So I just got a big bag of fresh collard greens and we'll be using that within a few days. Some pepper and onion to keep in the freezer. And then last month, if you watched my haul last month, you saw that I tried out this broccoli rice. Been, we've been eating a lot of cauliflower rice. This stuff I love which doesn't surprise me. I like broccoli better than cauliflower anyway, so I've got eight packs here that I'm keeping in the freezer. Now we could use these for lunch, Solo and I. He could take a bag of this and easily make it at work uh, with some chicken drumsticks that were pre-grilled and just throw this in the microwave or make it at home and then just heat it up a little bit. Really easy uh, to eat as rice along with a lot of meals we make when the kids are eating rice. Got a couple things of coconut milk. I've been using cans a lot, but I think when I'm using, going through so much, it, this might be a good option. I wanna make some chia seed pudding that uses coconut milk and this saves me a little money over the cans. So hopefully there's no sugar added. Hopefully it's just as good for you. Yeah, less than one carb, that's good. So this month I'm trying out mashed cauliflower. I have made it myself out of fresh cauliflower. It's okay, so I thought I'd give this a whirl to eat for Solo and I to eat when the kids eat mashed potatoes when I'm making meatloaf. Got a bunch of bags of sweet peas. We eat these with a couple of different meals and with our lunches, but Hope has been loving eating these frozen. She just pops them in her mouth and she can't get enough of them actually. When she sees the bag, she hollers for them, so. Those are a good little snack for her too. Coffee, K-cups, the coffee is for Solo. He's the coffee drinker around here. Got some popcorn. We like to use popcorn in our popcorn maker on Sunday nights a lot of times. Not always, but sometimes. And this is shortening. I just love buying shortening in these things because it's a lot less messy and a lot easier. The kids love to bake with that. I threw these in here. My mom actually picked these up for us and um, for Solo and I because she knows we're eating more low carb stuff. These have, they're pretty low carb. I think the net carbs on this one is 12, so that's a little higher. And the net carbs on this is 10. So even if you just cut one in half, you can like do a 
a, a sandwich or something in it, you know, a wrap. And yeah, she, that was nice of her to get us those. I thought I'd show you what they have available at Walmart just for some options when you're wanting something different and want to feel like you're eating normal. <laughs> I don't know, they might work for you if you're keto or on Trim Healthy Mama, who knows? It depends on how many carbs you want. Okay, these here, guys, these LaCroix, I love mixing these with some apple cider vinegar, maybe some oolong tea, and they give in some, a little stevia, and they are a great soda replacement for me. I really like cold and fizzy drinks. I drink a whole lot of water, but I also like to drink cold and fizzy drinks, so this apple flavor in particular tastes really great when it's mixed with apple cider vinegar, apple cranberry. Yeah, so I got four boxes of that, and there's two of the um, big things of eggs. I'll get some more eggs at Aldi, 60 eggs each. That's what I got at Walmart this time. Hope and Belle are getting the samples, and Judah got the iced coffee because it probably has a lot of sugar in it. You need caffeine? And caffeine, he better drink it this morning. <laughs> oh, is that good? You like that? Mmm, Sam's Club won you over, didn't they? With their mini muffin samples. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Oh, Hope. Uh, that's not wise. That's not wise. Let's not do that. <laughs> I'm back with Aldi. I am tired. Aldi is tiring. <laughs> but and I but I had my mom's help, so that helped a lot. I had an adult helping me. Although my kids are pretty good helpers too. So anyway, she even helped me unpack this table and to show you. So let me show you what all I got here, then I'll tell you my totals. Let's just start with the goodies. I went through the aisle that I avoid when I'm trying to really, really stay on budget. <laughs> they had a couple, or they had some microfiber kitchen towels. I wanted to try those out. And I needed another drying mat, so picked up that. And then this blanket was 12. $12.99 maybe, and it's really soft. Okay guys, this doesn't, this stuff's not gonna come out of my grocery budget, it'll be, I have a household budget that this will come out of, um, but this one was really soft and I could not resist. That all these deals like that, you know, if you don't, if you see them and you really want them, you grab them when they, they're there, otherwise they're gone. Okay, let's get to the real deal now, the food. Got six milk, that's all they let me get. Six bags of Fuji apples, just because they didn't have Honeycrisp, and then we're trying out these. They're called Smacking Apples, it's called Jazz. They're tangy, sweet, super juicy, and smaller for little hands. So I thought they, maybe they'd be sweeter. They're good, but it's also apple season. It's not like the best apple I've ever had. Maybe not worth the extra dollar that the bag costs, but they're good. You want it? <laughs> 10 loaves of bread here, and then I got 10 bags of bagels, and that's because the kids eat bagels for breakfast once a week. This bread is for sandwiches and like eggs and toast kind of thing. Plus I'll do some making of my own bread. I still have a lot of whole wheat flour around for that and yeast. I have everything I need for that. So, but this is in place of my sprouted green bread. They didn't have it and my mom was helping me. She picked this up. It's called Super Seed. It's probably not totally on plan for me, but that's okay. I need a lot more carbs than usual because I'm trying to keep my milk supply up. Okay, we got six cans of tuna. I already had six in my cupboard, so that'll get me through. This is, I just have around because my mother-in-law's here and she makes some of her Kenyan treat things and we need that. Cornstarch, this goes, basically the only time I use cornstarch really is it goes in my taco seasoning that I make a little bit and lasts a long time. I got a couple of these cooking sprays, olive oil kind. Um, usually when I run out, I've been out for the last month and I was just pouring olive oil in the pan and rubbing it around with my hands, but that is awfully convenient. I got some olive oil and tried some avocado oil just because I wanted to try it. So we'll see what that's like. Got two vanilla. These are like $4.99 each and they're tiny. So it must be the good stuff, I guess. Salt. Sorry guys, I have a new camera and I'm probably too close. But I got two of these minced onions, two paprika, and that is for the taco seasoning I make. We got two big bags of potatoes here, two bags of sweet potatoes. Three pineapple, because we have that awesome pineapple slicer, and so we love to have that around. That spaghetti squash is for my husband and I when we're having spaghetti and meatballs. 
And then a big bag of sweet peppers. Pizzas, Aldi pizza because, you know, oh, there we go, zoom out a little, goodness. Because that's always good and easy. How's the apple, Micah? Great. Good, okay, we got some onions here. Two mayonnaise, two Greek yogurt, four pork sausage. I'm gonna make that, well, some of those appetizers I'm making to show you guys, use that, and some, it uses a little bit of cream cheese, plus I'm making one of my favorite soups for you that, may, that has cream cheese in it too. So lots of cream cheese, but it's the holidays, and we do have all those bagels that need cream cheese. Large Ziploc bags, 10 things of old fashioned oats, six eggs, that's all they let me get there. Yes, I've tried to send my children through the aisle or someone else with me, but they're real strict in my Aldi, they don't let me do that. Uh, so I just get six and get the rest at Walmart. Two bags of chopped kale <laughs> and some pepperoni. I got three butternut squash, that is for a butternut squash soup I'm gonna make, plus I thought if I had some extra, I think this will give me one extra. And if I have extra, I will use it for baby food, to make baby food. And then these sausages are great when you're on a keto diet and you need a quick little, um, I just stick them in the microwave, quick little breakfast, maybe have it with cottage cheese or something like that. Green onions, they did not have any cilantro there, unfortunately. I tried to get it at Trader Joe's and it was $2 for a little, little bit of cilantro, so I'm gonna have to go to another grocery store later for that. I got two things of blackberries because they look like a good little treat. And I've already eaten a few of those. They're nice and sour, not very sweet, but it is nice that those are keto friendly, trim healthy mama friendly. You can just snack on them. This is our lunch meat for the week for the kids. I got two things of jalapenos. I'm making a jalapeno popper soup this month. And then here's some goodies for baking for the holidays. Chocolate chips, brown sugar, white sugar, white flour, and also because my mother-in-law's here and that's some of the stuff she makes for her stuff. So I'm just resigning myself to that's what we're buying for a little while. 10 things of whole wheat tortillas, four big things of jelly, five things of, five boxes of granola bars. The kids have that for snack once a week. Um, Tomato sauce, I just got like a tray of, that's all tomato sauce. These are all diced tomatoes and these four are canned pumpkins. So tomatoes is one thing I buy a lot of canned. And then I tried out all these mac and cheese instead of Sam's Club. It was like 49 cents a box. So I got 16 of them, $8. I guess that's cheaper than Sam's Club. I don't know, I need to price check it. I forget how much the Sam's one is. But that's what I got at Aldi and let me show you the next store. I was out of a lot of stuff this month, a lot of like personal products, I think I already said that, and some of it is just hair stuff for me and my girls, and so I know I'm going way over budget this month, and I'm just gonna have to take money from somewhere else, some from our personal money, maybe from our house money. I just have to um, reallocate some funds to have a catch-up month, I guess, because between that and the holidays, we're definitely going, and my chicken mistake, <laughs> we're definitely going way over this month, but stay tuned, I'll show you what it was. I did run into Target, there are some hair supplies there that I like a lot. They have a lot of good um, options for hair products that are for different kinds of hair, and the my girls' texture of hair. I really like these leave-in conditioners for my girls, and it's called Not Your Mother's Naturals and both of them are really good. I could not find those this time. I picked up these products instead. We've used this, Bells. This works really good for Bells. The Not Your Mother's works good for Tori, Noel, Hope, and Destiny, my younger girls. Uh, so I tried this instead for them. Just to add some texture, it says it detangles, protects, and controls frizz for all hair types, and I like that brand usually. So that's for the little girls. This is for Belle. This is not enough probably for Belle. And this is some dry shampoo I've heard great things about and I wanna try myself. Okay, next one, I'm gonna show you what I got at the dollar store. I don't usually go into the dollar store, but I did need parchment paper and I knew that is a good deal there and I liked it. So I asked you guys what to get. You gave me tons of good ideas. I didn't have much time and I didn't want too much stuff, so I tried out these squirt bottles. I have gotten those before and they break, but they work really well when they're working. <laughs> So I'm hoping my other ones were duds. Gonna try those again. I got tried some microfiber washcloths just to have some extra. I love this little scarf for a dollar. I thought between Belle and I, we could use it in our hair. It's a great length and width. And I really wanted one of these too. So we'll see how that one holds up. 
This I thought I could use at my desk. These Solo likes to use once in a while when he cleans grimy stuff around here. This is from a shower. We'll see if it works for hard water spots. Needed some of these in my laundry room. And this chicken wing sauce I picked up because according to this, it looked like it was pretty much on plan. And I thought that it might help redeem my drumstick chicken mistake. And finally we got Trader Joe's. These uh, green peppers were 89 cents each. These were 99 cents each. Ah, if you buy peppers cheaper where you are, you can be thankful for that. Uh, they were a little cheaper at Aldi, but they looked terrible. Like they were already moldy, and so I didn't want to buy those. I picked up this just uh, to try to have some like snacks, adult snacks to stay on plan. This cheese and this summer sausage uh, just for like snacking purposes when the kids are snacking on all their yummy carb stuff and then this sharp cheddar cheese i really like it it's grass-fed cheese from new zealand and sharp cheddar is really good so picked up, picked up some of that and then these dry roasted and salted almonds i got these one bars um these are mostly for solo like when he just to be a meal replacement or just to eat half of one like if he's going out to a game or something and trying to avoid the junk food so they're pretty low carb but not they're not awesome so they can help him stay on plan if he's careful with everything else he eats in the day and we tried this before this brand or this type the maple donut or something like that maple glazed donut and they were really good Got some chocolate, I got six packs of dark chocolate. That's um, how I stay eating healthy and not eating junk food. And then peanut butter. It was only $1.99, that's an awesome price. I got six of them, we go through about six a month. And I did pick up one of the almond butters, $5.99. Not so cheap, but maybe I'm gonna take some of your suggestions and try to make it too soon. So we'll see about that. I do have some almonds that are just raw that I could try it with. I'm just afraid to break my food processor, <laughs> honestly. But we'll see. This is what I got from Amazon. I got this big thing. We use this to clean our floors. Ooh, I don't know where the cap is. Maybe it's in that box. Two of these lotions. These are our favorite. This is still stocking up that hall closet of ours. And some batteries. I like getting Amazon's batteries. We've had good luck with them. We need a AAA. And then these pa this pack of six things of the flossers which we all use every day so we really can go through them and finally um one of my viewers actually told me to get these henna and placenta <laughs> but they are hair masks and she said she really loves them so i wanted to try them out i got a pack from amazon it's like a whole box of them and we'll try them in bell's hair okay guys that's what I have for you. Let me show you my totals. But first, let me show you my beautiful fall tree in my backyard. And look at my kids playing under it. Oh, the camera doesn't even do it justice. I think we need to rake some leaves. Thanks for watching this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching me below my budget, I'm sure. I haven't looked yet, but I know I've shown you already, so we'll talk to you soon. Bye.